Good day, everybody. Today is December the 11th, 2018. It is Tuesday morning. And I'm going to do something completely different today. I'm going to ask you guys a question. And I really would like to hear your answers below. Uh, no ignorant stuff. I'm not going to go through all that again because I'm just, just deleting it. So I'd like to hear uh, Christian's uh, opinions on this matter. And it is uh, something that is discussed heavily in the book of Revelations. And I'm talking about the Antichrist. Um, recently, I uh, listened to two different lectures given by two different theologians, uh, two different doctors of theology that had two differing opinions on this matter. Um, and I found it utterly fascinating, to, to say the very least, Um the first professor believed that the Antichrist will rise up out of Catholicism. You know, he'll come from that background. I'm not specifically talking about he'll be the Pope or nothing. I'm not even going there because I don't want Catholics to, uh, you know, get all riled up over something like that. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying in, in general he'll, he'll, he'll come from that, that uh, background. Um, the professor gave a lot of good points on that. The other professor... Uh, which is, I tend to steer more towards that belief is that professor talked about the Antichrist rising out of the Islamic religion. Being uh, that they have such a uh, divide between, you know, Islam and Christianity and Islam and Judaism, uh, mainly Islam and Judaism being mortal enemies, uh, you know, uh, and of course, you know, Christians having the Judeo-Christian background and belief system, you know, that's also considered enemies of, of Islam. Uh, so I tend to believe more because if you realize or if you, if you know, the Antichrist is going to be a master of fooling everybody. He's going to fool the masses. So I believe that he would be coming from that type of background. And I tend to believe the other professor... Uh, on that fact, because if you think about it, the Antichrist is going to unite under one religion, under one government, under one monetary system. So, therefore, if he's coming from a background that has such hostility towards the Christian religion and the Ju Judaism, and then he wants to unite with them, it makes more sense than the Catholicism uh, background that the other professor came from. But I have to give the other professor, you know, a lot of kudos because he, he put a lot of good points forth on that. And, and um, I do know that in Revelations it mentions the seven hills, and I do know that Rome is built around seven hills, and that's why a lot of people believe that, you know, he'll come from that background. I understand that. Uh, but I have a tendency to believe he'll come from the Middle East. He'll come from that part of the world. Um, I do know the Bible says that, you know, he'll come from uh, north, south, east, and west of the Pleasant Land, and the Pleasant Land being, of course, Israel. Um, so my question to you on this is, uh, I, I, I just find it utterly fascinating because you do get a myriad of different opinions on this uh and I, I would just like to ask each and every one of you what do you think where uh i mean i'm not asking for specific like he's going to come from iran or iraq if you want to do that that's fine uh, more to marry or i love that kind of stuff but i'd like to find out you know what your opinion is what you think where you think the antichrist will be will rise from do you think he'll come from america as a good amount of people believe uh do you believe he's going to come from the middle east which a lot of people believe including myself i do believe like i said earlier he's going to be of middle eastern descent um and i do believe i i do believe as i said the second professor that he's going to come from the islamic religion that does not mean he's a muslim i'm not saying that he's going to be a muslim i'm just saying he's going to have the islamic background he's going to come from that region which is predominantly muslim uh, of course, he's going to have that, you know, in his bag. But you got to remember what the Antichrist is. You got to remember what his job is. You got to remember it is to deceive, to destroy. He's going to try to take over, even though he's going to lose. You know, we know about the Battle of Armageddon. 
uh, when, when, you know, the world is basically against Israel. And, I mean, he's going to lead uh, all of those armies. And he will be defeated. Um, but I'm getting, you know, the cart before the horse. Uh, I'm not even wanting to get into that. But I just want to find out your thoughts on where you think the Antichrist comes from. Uh, and, and why? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's really a good, fascinating topic, uh, especially since I and a lot of other Christians believe, without a doubt, we are in the last days. Um, you have to remember that man's timetable is not the same as God's timetable. So, last days, you have to go by you know, the signs that are given by God uh, that would know, that would be of notation that we are in the last days. You have to go by what you see. Uh, of course, you can be misled by so many, especially on this internet. You know, there's so many more people that have access to spew their loony theories or their, their you know, stuff that's not backed up from the Bible. I like to always say to people, if you hear somebody's opinion or you hear a minister preach on something like this, if it's not backed up biblically, then it's got no basis. It's got to be backed up biblically for it to have some basis. Oh, look who's coming to see me. Um, this is Sheba, my little uh, puppy dog. Um, it has to be backed up um, biblically. And, and to me, that is the test on anything, even when you go and listen to professors like I did, uh, you have to see if they have any, if it's backed up by any scripture. I mean, that's so important today. That's so important today that people tend to forget that you have to, you know, you, you can't believe just because somebody has reverend in front of their name, or even if they got a PhD in theology or this or that, you can't believe just automatically because you think they've they know better that what they're saying is the truth. It has to be backed up biblically. My mother used to always say, and and she still to today says that if it's not in the Bible, then it's not of God's word, and and it's really that simple. Um, you know, a lot of people take liberties with the Bible. Uh, and, and they try to make the Bible, especially certain scriptures, they try to, you know, make them, how do I want to say it? They, they want to mold them in, they want to mold the scripture or the, or the, or the, or the chapter into what they believe. Meaning, uh, if you believe this way or that way, well, you know, the scripture says it, if you look at it in this you know, way, or if you look at it in this, this light, it'll explain it to you, and that's not the way it is, you know, um, God's word is God's word, it's not to be tampered with, it's not to be, you know, taking things out, or paste, cut and paste is what we used to say with ministers that, you know, didn't want to completely f follow the Bible, they would cut out parts that they don't like, and paste in their own points. Now we see that today with uh, ministers that are obviously not of God because of the lifestyles they live. Uh, they live, uh, and and the Bible clearly states. You know, I mean, it could not be any clearer on on specific lifestyles, but yet they tend to cut that out, or they'll use something like this. Um, God's a loving God. God won't send me to hell because uh, I drink alcohol, or God won't send me to hell because I smoke pot, or God won't send me to hell because I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm a lustful man. I still love God, but I have lust in my heart because I'm a man. I'm human. You know, He's not going. You know what? God will send you to hell. Okay, and this is where the Antichrist comes in. He's going to fool so many people into believing that lifestyles that it's fine. He's going to have so many people believing basically that you can do anything you want. Okay, and he's going to, I mean, he's going to lead untold 
untold counts of people to hell. I, I mean, it's 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 an untold amount. I mean, I don't know, but I know it's going to be a large amount of people that's going to fall under his spell. Remember, the Bible says, you know, the 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 way the the path to hell is is wide. It's broad. Many will go that way. You know, the path to heaven is narrow, and only a few will find that. You have to remember that 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 you just can't believe everything everybody says, even anything that I say. You know, check it with the Bible. You know, I, I, I recommend that. You know, I'm not saying I say, you know, I'm complete final word on the Bible because that's ludicrous to make a statement like that. You know, but you have to live by the Bible. You have to go by what the Bible says and use that in your daily lives. Again, if you would put below what you believe the Antichrist, where he's coming from, uh, if you want to narrow it down to a part of the world, that would be wonderful. Um, I would just love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to hear your point of view on this because it is it is, it is is something that's been debated for as long as probably the Bible's been around and uh, will continue to be. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Put your comments below. Subscribe. Listen, listen, listen. Um, I've been getting a lot of trolls coming on here saying some, I say this on every video practically, you know, it's not going to work because I got notification the second you post something and it will be deleted. It will be deleted. So you're wasting your time. Okay, you're not going to upset me. You're not going to anger me. I'm just letting you know you're wasting your time because nobody's going to see the filth. Nobody's going to see your garbage. So have some common sense. Post to the people that, that, that follow my channel. Post what you think, like I said, about the Antichrist. I would appreciate it, and I really do want to hear what you have to say. Honestly, I do. I'm, I'm excited to, to, to read others. So thank everybody for watching. Subscribe. God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're out in the cold weather, try to stay warm and, and, and be safe out there, okay? God bless everybody. God bless you. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.